Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. I'm going to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video talking about Dragon Ball Z and the return movie, which is going to be hitting in 2013. It's going to be called uh, Battle of the Gods. Yeah, so uh, I will put the links to the teaser trailer, which does have a couple of cool scenes, and uh, also the wiki article for it, as well as if you guys search for Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods on Google and just check out the images and stuff, you'll uh, you'll see quite a few different cool uh, images of the movie. Now, it does have a pretty damn good budget. The movie funding is uh, 600 and $36,000 according to the wiki article that I'm reading, uh, which should be pretty close to accurate for the most part, uh, which is good um, to see that it's going to get that kind of funding uh, because, you know, you're not sure with these kinds of movies, you know, what they're going to get. I wish they'd really show something like this in theaters in North America. That'd be awesome, but it's not going to be. Uh, obviously, it'll just be shown in theaters in Japan. And then uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for it to trickle over here to North America, uh, either in a sub or dub. Hopefully, someone will be kind enough to cam it in, J in Japan so that we can watch it online as soon as possible. But it'll probably take a while because I know Berserk that was shown uh, last year. I've been looking for it <laughs> months later, and I still can't find the second Berserk movie. Um, so this one could take a while for us to actually get to see it in North America. I'm assuming probably sometime in the summer. Maybe late summer, maybe in, in early fall. Hopefully not, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, uh, just to get my thoughts on it real quick, uh, this was this video, by the way, was suggested by uh, D Boom uh, XD. If I forget if I mentioned that already, but uh, he wanted to hear my thoughts on it, and uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to give my thoughts on it. Um, basically, the villain looks like sort of like an Egyptian god type thing uh, in terms of design. In terms of the design of the character. I think it looks a little bit weird, um, but of course with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, villains, you're going to get that kind of very stylized uh, look. And I do think it looks kind of cool. Uh, it does look pretty cool. Um, now in terms of what we can expect for the story, I mean, it's hard to say at this point what kind of story it's going to it's gonna have and whether or not it's going to be any good. Uh, the last Dragon Ball movie was atrocious. Uh, it was basically like... Uh, Dragon Ball and who was it? Goten and uh, and Trunks, the kid versions, were fighting. Um, you know, and Goku didn't even fight. Vegeta didn't even really fight. You know, it was just like it, it was just kind of like getting to see them all together. Yeah, whatever. But in terms of really getting to see something cool, it it, it just wasn't there. It, it wasn't there. Uh, not to say that all the movies suck. I think a lot of people are like, oh, all the Dragon Ball Z movies suck. And and no, I disagree with that. I completely and totally disagree with that. Um, I think Brawly is an amazing character, and uh, his movies were awesome. I think Cooler was cool as hell. He was a great villain. I think that uh, that his movie was also very good. And I mean, the others too. Like there, a lot of them have some really good parts to them. Um, you know, I think people a lot of times uh, overgeneralize and they just try to say they all suck, but some of them do suck. I, I gotta admit, some of them do. But I'm hoping this one will be pretty good. I mean, you can't go wrong with. Uh, I always said, you know, like um, for example. To use as an example, Star Wars, George Lucas just sold Star Wars a little while ago. Well, my opinion on it was this. A lot of people are like, oh no, Disney bought Star Wars. This is going to be terrible. They're going to ruin it or whatever. Well, even releasing something that's not that good is better than not releasing anything. You know, if, if, if you have a property like Star Wars or Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z and you're not using it, that's a waste to me. You know, uh, business-wise, they should have stuff they should have people working on something new for these uh, stories and media and uh, sort of uh, genre that, you know, every couple years they should have something new coming out all the time for them. So even if Dragon Ball Z will never return and uh, continue on in terms of like a TV series, uh, which I wish it would, I freaking wish it would, man, and have it not be like GT, but just erase GT and start before that. Um, I would be 100% down for that. And by the way, this movie is is in that situation. It is basically right at the end of Dragon Ball Z. After the Boo Saga, you still have all the characters there pretty much that are important. And GT has nothing to do with it. So that's exactly what we need, uh, in, in my opinion. I mean, some people like G GT, and I'm not 
faulting you guys if you like GT. Don't uh, please don't think I'm uh, insulting. You know, if you like it, whatever, cool. Uh, there are some things about it I can appreciate, but overall, uh, Dragon Ball Z I think is where it's at, in my opinion. Uh, so I think this movie could be good. Uh, I really hope it'll be good. I hope it won't be disappointing like some of the others have been and uh, and really we'll bring it and we'll get to see some great animation again with uh, Goku beating on some uh, you know cool characters and and just see some cool fights as always like what Dragon Ball Z is known for amazing fights over the top powers you know really cool stuff at the end of the teaser you see like an outer space view you've got Goku and this uh, this god character this Egyptian god character that he's going to be fighting man I yeah Ugh. Very excited. Very excited. And I hope, you know, I don't want to get my hopes up too high because sometimes, you, you know, you get your hopes up so high and then when you watch it, it's like, oh man, it wasn't that good. It just sucked. So hopefully this is not one of those types of things. And uh, only time will tell until we actually get to see it. But, um, you know, it looks, it, to me, it looks like it's got the formula for success. They chose the right time. They have all the right characters. Um, you know, everything just looks like uh, it's, it's good. Uh, the villain... Maybe could look a little bit more intimidating because it looks kind of silly a little bit. I mean, it's an Egyptian god, so whatever. Um, but it could be a little bit more masculine, you know, and maybe beefier. But, uh, oh, well, what are you going to do? I mean, it'll still be cool anyway to see. Um, and uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. So Dragon Ball Z, Battle of the Gods. Happy to see some new Dragon Ball Z material. And like I said, uh, it's kind of a waste if these companies don't use these properties. And even if they release something that's not the greatest ever... Um, you know, if they release something, it's better than just canceling it and releasing nothing. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trav. Same piece.